Meghan Markle today lost her court fight to block claims she co-operated with the authors of an explosive book about her private life for allowed her friends to. The Duchess of Sussex, 39, is accused of feeding personal information to the writers of Finding Freedom, to set out her own version of events in a way that is favorable to her. The high court ruling by Judge Francesca K means that the book will now feature as evidence in Meghan's high-stakes privacy battle against Associated Newspapers, the publishers of the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online. It also means that she could be questioned under oath about her involvement with the book, which tells the story about her life with the Duke of Sussex. Meghan is suing the Mail on Sunday for publishing in February 2019 extracts of a letter she wrote to her estranged father Thomas Markle. She claimed that it breached her deepest and most private thoughts and feelings, and that she had not given permission for the letter to be made public. Finding Freedom, which the newspaper argues she collaborated with the authors on, was published in August, weeks after lawyers for the newspaper had submitted its defense. Last week in a pre-trial hearing the publishers associated, newspapers asked the high court for permission to include her alleged co-operation in Finding Freedom as part of their defense when the trial starts on January 11th. The Duchess's own legal costs are predicted to be £1.8 million for the 10-day trial, when she is also expected to give evidence. Her legal costs for the pre-trial hearing were revealed to be just under £140,000 and she was also ordered to pay the newspaper's costs of £39,000. Lawyers for the newspaper claimed it was difficult to see how Meghan could complain about extracts of her letter to her estranged father, being published when she and Harry had helped with finding freedom which exposed their private thoughts and feelings. At the preliminary hearing, Anthony White QC said the biography gives every appearance of having been written with their extensive co-operation. The book contains a great deal of detailed information about Meghan's personal life, including a number of passages referring to her relationship and communications with her father, and a section referring to the letter which is at the heart of this case, he added. He argued that the Duchess, either directly or through friends, allowed the bombshell book to use intimate details to paint a favorable picture of her life. Meghan's lawyer Justin Rushbrook QC asked for permission to appeal against the ruling allowing the amendments to the mail on Sunday's defense. The barrister said the inherent improbability of Meghan having co-operated with the authors of the biography could be demonstrated by simply comparing what the defendant's own articles said with what the book said about the letter to her estranged father. Judge Francesca K refused permission to appeal against her ruling but Meghan's lawyers could still pursue an appeal to the Court of Appeal. At last week's preliminary hearing, Meghan's lawyers denied that she co-operated with authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand on the book and that any reference to her letter in it were simply extracts that were actually taken from the Mail on Sunday article. They also denied that she used her friends to influence press and public opinion. In a written submission, Mr. Rushbrook QC, said, the claimant and her husband did not collaborate with the authors on the book, nor were they interviewed for it nor did they provide photographs to the authors for the book. He added that neither Meghan nor Harry to spoke to Mr. Scobie or Ms. Durand, who he said, were not given the impression that the claimant wanted the contents of the letter to be reproduced in the book. Mr. Rushbrook will reportedly be representing Meghan for the remainder of the case after she dropped his colleague, David Sherborne. The high court ruling also means that Mr. Scobie will also be asked to give evidence in the case, after he submitted a statement maintaining that Meghan did not co-operate in the writing of the book.